Despite a worrying scene each tournament, year one of Tomokaze's comeback had gone well, yielding a near 80% win rate. The power of Yor was scarce matched, of course, but at least his career was no more hanging by a thread. More precisely, by a single medial ligament with everything else in his right knee smashed. But in Upper Division 3, the standard jumps. His March fixtures, including three ex-salaried men for starters. His rebuilt body braced for toil. Match 1 saw him pleasingly beat the man who'd crushed him on his last outing. Uni graduate Fujiseun. But match 2, versus a foe he'd beaten before, went far less well. His left hand too slow to reach its target of Chionoumi's elbow. The slap here, hinting where his other problem lay. His right ankle a mere bollard on the dohyo. Then Mitake Umi's gopher Kaidiu, who had lost their previous bout. beat him to several blows, spun out of the parry, then countered in kind, obliging speedy retreat, for that knee is not for bearing. But neither these days is Chionoo's back. And while Chionor's thighs held firm, his torso could not in the face of a steely arm block, taking Kaze 2 and 0 in their head to head. Then green shoots of spring appeared. Tamawashi's colleague Tamashoho pinned with the left and throttled with the right to give Kaze two shots at a seventh straight winning score. But inspired Chiyo Sakae, getting five win hauls for fun these days, connected well with ribs and throat, forcing the pull with this elbow pin, which did Kaze no favours, merely inviting pressure on the knee he so badly wants to protect. Lots of things to reflect on mentally and physically, he would later say, also alluding to this. Despite rallying well from the initial clunk of heads, Kaze took but tentative steps with his right foot, which never caught up with his left once Asagyokusei fled, looking only for the pull. Somehow Gyokusei's heel stayed up until Kaze's frame went down, and at that point, Tomokaze revealed, I was focused on a rematch. And, we presume, the fact he'd been very badly cut. <laughs> On the nose as well. <laughs> 
It was a horribly unwelcome distraction. But since kid sumo days, any nearby coach would have screamed at him to fight on. That's how they all prepared him for high-level horrors. No way was he walking. But his foe's mind was crystal clear. Ergo, entice him and pull back. There was no bonus point for heroism, of course. Only the bitter reality of three and four and demotion. I don't think I fought badly overall, said Tomokaze. March was basically a learning experience. Reconditioning comes first, the salary later. But the mentor who took him to the new Nishonoseki stable was impressively bullish. Tomokaze will get way, way better, Coach Nakamura vowed. Just you watch. <laughs> 